we belong to love. The magic moments of life are highlighted with love, like when my daughter was born, and then again when my granddaughters were born. My heart was overflowing. But I'm realizing that love doesn't just occasionally appear in the scheme of things, it is the scheme of things. It flows like an underground river, and according to providence and our thirst, surfaces in fresh springs for us to quench our deepest needs. Its currents carry our impulses to care and take care, weaving us together. Love shows up as needs met. Children who grow up with love needs not met warp and fragment into hurt adults who hurt adults. Love not felt begets suffering. All the fussing and fighting around and within us are symptoms of love lost and living lost from love. Bitterness in life marks the loss of love's sweetness. Love tenderly caresses our unseen roots to remind us of its presence, even as the wind shakes our branches. Love beckons us silently and promises to save us and transform us from the dead to the living, from the lost to the found. Listen to the call of love. Surrender now. Live now. Love now. Healing means returning to love. Love's journey into wholeness starts with self-acceptance. When we take care of ourselves and nurture our health, we discover and uncover a natural gusto for living that fills every breathing moment with purpose and pleasure. No matter how broken we find ourselves, and despite all our flaws, it remains our destiny to tap into the undercurrent of love that runs through everything and be restored. Love is real, and even in our darkest hour, we can feel it. Human love is divine love with ADHD. It's messy, sometimes erratic, always exciting, super stimulating, and ever conducive to growth and transformation. Behind the scenes of human love, divine love smiles at our efforts. Whenever love triumphs over differences or discord, babies laugh and angels get their wings. When we surrender to love, victory is ours. Not the victory of dominance, but the victory of dominion, where opposites kiss as lovers and we rise to dance with the stars. Love makes for the deepest and quietest celebrations and throws the best and loudest parties. Love is what we live for. If doctors only knew the medicine in their bedside manner, hospitals would be hospitable again. Care would return to health care. Yes, love belongs in medicine because it is medicine. Even though life is no joke, love makes us laugh. Babies laugh even before they can talk. Love is their mother tongue, and they are more fluent than any poet. They cry and fuss to soak in what is rightfully theirs. The Love Sponge Award goes to babies, and we're all babies. Love also laughs at us, and we don't mind because love is kind. Love is like a big brother or sister that nudges us, guides us, protects us, and teaches us how to be brave even when confronted by bullies. Love teases us because we are kids and it will kid us until our own kids have their own kids. Love is here to stay. There's nothing you or I could do to make love say, not today. That is the way of love. We row as slaves on love's war barge, but we are not chained to our stations. We row with a will because there is a battle to be won and we are each the chosen one on the path of reclaiming our divine inheritance. The golden fields of tulips and the amethyst fields of lavender that have been in our family for generations have been usurped and we want them back. The flowers of fulfillment belong to us. It is a privilege to serve on this galley because look at who our captain is. King Arthur, Queen Esther, Wonder Woman, Robin Hood, and all our heroes embodied into one righteous leader. We fight the honorable fight 
and not with pink gloves, but with purple hearts. We fight from our woundedness for the right to stop bleeding and start celebrating. Even on the battlefield, we celebrate because we know there is no losing. We're on the right team and love is ours. We belong to love and love belongs to us. In fact, love owns us. And even though we've been sold into slavery and kidnapped to foreign lands, love has never lost sight of us and continues to negotiate for our release. Love is willing to pay a hefty sum for our return. Thanks to the mystic poet Hafiz for this image. When love says to me, you are mine, it is my honor to reply in kind. I am living a once in a lifetime love affair, both shy and bold. Love is kind and sweet that way. I say, if I am to be a slave, let me be a slave to love. If I am to be a beggar, let me humbly beg to sit at love's banquet table, which unbeknownst to me has been prepared in my honor. Amnesia be gone. I remember now, I am the rightful heir to this good fortune, which I can now accept because I know the desert whence I came. The strings of my heart beg for the master to strum me into wakefulness. Let me attend to love's song first thing in the morning and all through the day. When I rest, let me dream love's dream. And when I move, let me be love's puppet. Love and I belong together. And finally, let me enter love's deepest inner chamber of quietude. Let me listen within and discover the dictates of my own heart. And finally, finally, let me receive my birthright of love's peace. Let today forever be my birthday. Love and I are one. <laughs>